Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning back in for another video. For today's video, I am going to be doing a first impressions, demo, product review, whatever you want to call it, on a Camille Rose product. So Camille Rose had a spring cleaning on a lot of their products, pretty much all their products, and they were marked down really, really low to be a Camille Rose product, <laughs> and the shipping was a dollar. So I was able to get, I didn't really see a whole lot that I wanted to get, to be quite honest. I do like Camille Rose. Actually, the things I wanted were sold out already, but I saw that they had some milk cleansers, and I've never tried their milk cleanser before, and before they sold out, I got me one that I thought would benefit my hair. So there was no way I was going to miss out on a deal like that with Camille Rose. I mean, you really can't beat the pricing. They have really, really great products, and more importantly, great quality products. So the product that I got is their Citrus Blossom Cleansing Milk with Cashew Milk plus Orange Blossom. This has vegan milk infusions, and this is in an 8 fluent ounce bottle. It states this is a unique cold foam cleansing puree of nut butters and natural fruit nectars crafted to promote smooth, nourished strands. The claims of this product states that the rich cashew nut milk penetrates the hair shelf to cleanse and smooth follicles, while nectars of olive and neroli orange blossom work to softly condition tresses, hair is left pure, smooth, and sweet smelling. And I'll leave the full listing of the ingredients down in the description box below. So let's see what this smells like. Hmm. Okay, so it does smell really good. It has this very refreshing scent to it. It does have a citrus sweet smell. It just smells really good. It's kind of runny just a little bit. It's very light, very creamy. Feels very good. So I can't wait to try this on my hair. I'm going to wet my hair. I'm going to section it off in four sections and I'm going to work the product in starting from the scalp down to the ends of my hair and just massage it in really good. So the whole purpose of this product is to cleanse my hair, cleanse your hair. So we're going to just see how cleansing this product is. I don't really have a lot of product in my hair. I just have a leave-in moisturizer from the last wash I did. So we're just going to see how cleansing this product is, how it makes my hair feel, how my hair um, responds to this product. Yeah, hopefully the product claims are true. I'm thinking I'm going to have some really great results. I'm thinking I'm really going to like this um, cleansing milk. So we're going to see um, just how well it performs. So let's get started. is rinsed out of my hair now on the instructions it says to rinse this product out using cool water well based upon the experience I had with the last shampoo and, and it's stating to rinse it out with cool water I learned that I cannot do that so I had to rinse my hair out with warm water because a low porosity person just in general once you get that cool water that cold water it's gonna immediately close those cuticles and you don't want to close the cuticle so me personally I like to do a lock method after I finish washing my hair so I like to make sure that my cuticles are wide open so that way the products can penetrate into my hair so I'm not going to show you what products I'm going to use for my lock method because I'm saving that for another video because I want to show you guys two product mashups that go perfectly together for like the perfect twist out and the juiciest twist out so I'll bring that to you on another video so I'm going to jump off camera twist my hair real quick and then I'm going to come back on camera and share with you very briefly my thoughts on this cleansing milk so I really really like this cleansing milk for a few reasons one I love 
how it makes my hair feel. My hair feels very soft, nourished, moisturized. This cleansing milk is also very penetrating, so it is low porosity friendly. I felt the product did not sit on my hair. I felt it coat all of my hair strands. It had a nice foamy consistency texture, and it just penetrated my hair, and it was just easy to work the product through. So the main thing was to see if this cleansing milk is really cleansing. And for me, I would say yes, it is very cleansing. I felt it cleansed my hair very well. I did not feel that it stripped any of my natural hair oils. And it is a lightweight consistency. It's not a heavy cream. But once you start working it in really well, that's when it kind of creates this heavier foam. I love the smell of my hair. It smells very sweet, but a light, sweet fragrance. This cleansing milk does have a lot of slip. So I like that I was able to get the product through my hair and I could detangle it without really using any tools to detangle my hair. You do want to make sure that your hair is pretty much dripping wet when you apply this uh, cleansing milk. Uh, so that way it'll start to foam up a lot better. Um, if you put it on like damp hair, it's not going to really foam up as great. But if your hair is drenching, it definitely foams up a lot better. All in all, I will say I love this cleansing milk. Um, I'm, they have two other ones, if I'm not mistaken. And I definitely want to give those a try. So yeah, I would definitely say this is a great product. It's just Janine approved. I recommend it. And it will stay in my natural hair stash. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my first impressions, review, demo of Camille World cleansing milk. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Amazon store for further products to check out. It's just Janine. I will see you on the next video. Bye guys!